I've been up since nine, um, but no, I got up at eight and I laid back down till nine and like dozed back off. And then I laid in bed and stayed on my phone. I was like, you know what? Let me finally get up because I have a full on work day today. So the last couple weeks I've been putting in a lot of effort to produce more content and better quality content and putting more time into editing my videos and all that stuff. So I want to start being more active, not just on youtube by posting four times a week but also by posting more on instagram so today so today's work day is going to be dedicated solely to instagram and tiktok um i'm going to be posting more ig reels because they're doing so good and i have to like get on the bandwagon i just have to um because they're really pushing reels right now um and then i have to also post on tiktok so whatever i film for ig or for tiktok i'm going to be switching it over and like converting it so i can post it on tiktok and instagram um so like a two for one special i don't know i'll figure that out but we're dying um my hair not my hair my wig today we're going to be dying a wig we're going to be filming instagram tiktok content editing it's just gonna be a full-on work day my room is already clean i have to do one load of laundry um and then i'll be done with all my laundry um i might wash my bedding it doesn't really need to be washed but you never can be too clean um anyway so this is how it makes your skin look like it just looks really really glowy i still look kind of puffy because it's morning but i'll slim out in the throughout the day um so yeah i think that i'm just going to start pulling makeup um, watch some YouTube videos, find a song, just want to check in because I'm trying to get better at vlogging and I don't know if in my vlogs I talk too much, so I don't know, it's weird, vlogging is very, it's very that, so anyway I'm going to do all those things and then I'll check back in with you guys probably once I get ready to dye the hair or I'll show you guys a little behind the scenes of me shooting Instagram content and shooting TikTok content, so stick around for that. And I'll check back in. Also, you guys see a Zara bag. So we're going to do a little Zara haul later. Um, the other day, I went to the mall. I think I showed you guys earlier in the vlog. Um, me and my mom. And I just picked up a few things. But anyway. So I have these lights. And I have, like, have these. But these, I really like these because they're adjustable on the sides. Um, so I can control the amount of light. And also, I can put on filters so this is just like a clear one to make the light a little bit softer and less harsh and then there's like an orange filter or whatever so i'm trying to figure out if i should use those for batteries for these so each one takes one battery but then i have a backup battery so um they tend to die um so i'm going to put those batteries on the charger because one set is already fully charged so i'm gonna put the other set on the charger so i can film pretty much all day or an extended period of time so that um, I can get all the videos I want to get done done today. Okay, so I just put up the two lights. I have to let the batteries charge. Let me show you really quick what the batteries look like. So 
here are what the batteries look like this one is charged but this one isn't so i'm just going to keep both of them on the charger until they are both like ready to be you know so they both turn green basically but i have these two for the lights and then i also have these two for the lights so these are not charged yet so i have to wait for these to charge so while i'm filming if one of the lights die i can switch out the batteries and film as many tiktoks and reels today as possible here's what the light looks like when it's all assembled it's super compact and it is adjustable so i can adjust the height to make it taller or to make it shorter so i'm trying to determine if i want to um like sit in this area and have this be the background for the video that I'm filming which is only gonna be like me really much in so pretty much so in frame so I'm trying to figure out like if I want this behind me or if I just want to do like um, a white wall or whatever the case is so so that's what I have so far I'm going to pull all the makeup that I need for the TikTok um, and I still have to pick a song so I'm going to get the makeup together and stuff and then pick a song because I want to sing the lyrics of the song while I'm doing the transitions and doing the makeup. Alright, so here's all of the makeup that I'm going to be using for today's video. My camera battery is still taking a long time to freaking charge. Okay, so I look like an inmate. <laughs> I look dead ass like an inmate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, it's okay. I'm about to change it anyway. It doesn't even matter. So, um, a pro tip that I have for when you're filming and trying to like not content out of the way and make your filming process a lot easier, the smallest things make a difference. So, I picked out all of my makeup um, it's all on the bed or whatever so I'm gonna just take this clear little container that I have and I'm going to organize the makeup inside of the container in the order that I would use it so while I'm filming I could just go directly in order and it saves me time believe it or not it makes all of the difference I don't care what anybody says I'm a Virgo and I like things very very organized and in place I put in the little container I'll show you how it looks so yeah I just put everything in the container so I have my primers my foundations concealers um, cream bronzer setting powders under eye powder bronzer face powder uh, highlighters eyeshadow setting spray and then I need to get my blush and then lip products are over here but these are gonna be in a separate video and then these are just mascara some liner and then my brow products that I like to use I think it's this one Pleaser is my favorite from House Labs. This color on my skin just looks so, so amazing. And it's called Pleaser. And I haven't used a highlighter yet, but I should.
Hey guys, what's up? So today is Wednesday, November 5th. No, it's Thursday. It's Thursday. Um, I am at the mall and the lighting is the lighting is hitting. Oh, my skin looks good. Oh, I love this for me. But anyway, I'm vlogging because we are at the mall. We're gonna get a couple things. Um I wanted to go to Zara and see what they had, and then I wanted to go inside of Sephora um to get a couple of skincare pieces that I'm like running low on. So we're gonna be vlogging a little bit. I haven't been vlogging that much this week, but I wanted to start because I'm trying to do it a little bit more. So let's go inside. I, I literally came outside to do my intro because it was hella people. You can't even see me. I came outside to uh, do my intro because there was hella people and people are just looking at me like I'm crazy. But my skincare routine, if you wanna see how I got my skin so glowy is already up on my channel i'll link it down below and now i'm inside of joanne's with my mom because she wants to get some something she needs something on joanne's she always needs something on joanne's but Okay, so now it's time for the Zara haul. I told you guys what I was going to do a haul. So we're going to do that. I noticed that when I watch vlogs and they do a try on haul, it's a little bit more enjoyable for me. So, oh my god, my arms hurt. I'm going to do a try on haul for you guys right now and hope you guys like it. Okay, so here are the first pair of pants. So they're hella wrinkled, like hella, hella wrinkled. But, um... These are what the pants look like. Of course, you have to imagine them when they don't have, like, all these wrinkles in them. <laughs> but these are what the pants look like, and I thought that they were super, super cute. They have, like, a linen feel to them, and they're, like, really light and comfortable. Like, they're not itchy at all, and I thought this would be really cute to take photos in and also pair with, like, a really pretty bodysuit. I don't know if I'm going to do black or I'm going to do, like, nude on nude or white, but I just thought it would look really, really cute. It does have pockets, which I really like. I love pants that have pockets on them because, you know, you could just... It's just like, hey, you know, it's very easy going and just looks cute. I hate pants that don't really have pockets um, when they're like flowy like this. But these have pockets. Again, the material is super, super soft. And these are what they look like from behind a little bit. I don't have no booty, but it's okay. They look like that. Super cute. I love how they cinch in at the waist. So imagine with a bodysuit on, some hair, some makeup, a little glam, a cute bag, some heels. I think it just looks really, really cute and it just sucks you in. And I love that it has like this around the sides. It just gives a little bit more detail. So here are the first pair of pants that I picked up. Okay, do these look familiar? They should because they're the same exact pants. Um, the only difference is they're in a different color and the material is a little bit different. So the cream pair is more of like a linen type material. It kind of feels really like, like linen. I don't know how to explain it. So if you've ever felt linen, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's just like a little bit of a rougher material like it's not in a bad way It's just like a little more coarse like it has more texture to it And then these are just a little bit more soft and they don't have as much texture They still feel really really comfortable and they're really light and flowy These are a little bit longer than the cream ones and I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys But I got these in the extra small and the other pair that I showed you guys in an extra small as well um, whenever I get like wide leg long flowy pants I always get an extra small because I am a little bit on the like tiny side so I have to get extra small or else I'll just look like washed out and it won't give me like a cute effect like these I still kind of have some shape in them they're hella wrinkled but that's beside the point when I post them on Instagram or like when I wear them out they won't be this wrinkled obviously but the color is really pretty it's like this really nice sage green color again it just cinches you in at the waist they do have pockets as well and like I said they're a little bit longer so when I wear heels it'll still like have like the, a nice shape and you know they won't drag on the ground hopefully um because I'm not that tall so there's that um but I think they look really really cute and I love the, how comfortable and lightweight that they feel 
I said, let me show you guys the last piece, but this is actually not the last piece. I have this shirt, like this top to show you guys, and then I also have one other item to show you guys. So this top is so cute to me. It's just really relaxed. Obviously, I wouldn't wear these two together because it's not the vibe, but I love how relaxed and just kind of like lived in this shirt feels. It's super, super soft, and I love the color of it. Again, it has like that stone kind of cream taupey color going on for it and then it's just a button up and then it kind of like wraps in the front like it kind of drapes a little bit and it's a little bit see-through but i don't mind it i think with like a nude bra or a black bra or cami would be really really cute um i'm not sure what bottoms i would pair with this yet but okay, it's a little too bright hold on uh -huh, i'm not sure what bottoms i would pair with this yet but i know for a fact that when i do style this outfit oh my god the lighting is going crazy um, when I do pair this outfit, I think it'll be really cute. And then it also just kind of drapes in the back. So this will give me like a really nice relaxed vibe. I might wear it with like some really tight, um, cute black pants. Um, some heels, a cute little bag, and maybe like a long ponytail. Or maybe, I don't know, I'm going to style it. It'll be on my Instagram when I do figure it out. So I really like this top and I love the detailing of it just like the whole like wrapped around situation super cute and it's just really relaxed and just like very lived in and cozy and just like very effortless but still chic so okay <laughs> this hat and these braids are killing me okay anyway so here is the dress it looks so pretty this color on my skin it's just doing wonders for me but i just think this dress is so pretty i definitely wouldn't wear this bra with it but it's totally fine i just wanted to show you guys what the dress looks like on um it's it kind of stops like at my my calves i guess like a little bit lower than my calves and then it just makes me look really really cinched in at the waist and like with the right heels and bag and hairstyle super super cute also it has this really pretty like kind of cuffed collar which i don't have anything like this in my collection um like far as when it comes to clothes and stuff so having like this little cuffed neck you can wear this with like a really cute uh trench and it'll just give it like that fall winter vibe so i really love the way this came out good morning guys um it's actually 12 in the afternoon so i should say good afternoon instead of good morning but anyway today has been a very very productive day i woke up had breakfast i cleaned I uploaded a video on YouTube, which you should go watch if you haven't watched it already. It's a weekly vlog. Um, what else have I done? I cleaned, had breakfast, uploaded a video, um, mapped out my next three posts for Instagram for next week. I am going to go pick up some PR packages that have been piling up for a little bit. So today we're going to be doing a PR unboxing. I also um, picked up some things from Zara the other day. I am... Um, I vlogged when we went to Zara, me and my mom. Um, she needed to get some stuff from the mall, so we ended up going. And while I was there, I picked up a couple things that I'm gonna show with. I'm gonna share with you guys um, a little bit later on in the day. So um, yeah, I just kind of want to pop in and check in with the vlog because I feel like um, last week I only vlogged a few days out of the week. Sorry, it's not a big deal. So I'll probably just bring you guys along with me to go pick up the packages and stuff. And um, I need to put a load of clothes in the laundry so I can finally be done with my laundry. It's like, I like to put my hamper back inside of my closet out of the way after I've washed all my clothes. I don't know if it's just like the Virgo in me. I don't know. I just don't like putting my hamper in the closet with dirty clothes in it, if that makes sense. So I, I'm going to do some laundry. I'm also going to dye some hair. Like, I'm probably going to space this stuff out throughout the week because there's so many things I want to get done today. It's already 12 o'clock and I haven't filmed anything yet. Um, I need to still edit something for Instagram and TikTok. So I'm a little bit all over the place, but it's a good thing because I need to have stuff to do and have stuff to vlog this week. My hair looks crazy, so I wanted to also do something to that. I don't know if I'm going to do like another twist out or braid out or something, but I want to come up with another hairstyle um, to take some photos in. I'm really enjoying my natural hair being out. Okay, so we are in the car, and we're about to go get the mail so we can do our PR unboxing because I haven't gotten the mail in a long time. And my camera is not steady, hence while it's shaking. 
so I guess I'll see you guys once I make it to my location because I need to drive, focus on the road. Ma'am, getting a little too comfortable when you're searching around my vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Um, can I get a medium mocha frap? A grande mocha frappuccino, okay? Yes, and then can I get another um grande caramel frap with extra extra caramel? Could it be 485? You have two orders, right? Mm -hmm. I remember. Yeah. Thank you. I remember. <laughs> you have such a good personality. I appreciate Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you so much. It's hot now. I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off just doing a little bit of an unboxing. The first package is from Pixie, and it just says... Get yourself glowing. So let's open it and see what's inside. Ooh. Oh, more glow tonic. And it's customized, it has my name on it. That's cute. Let me see. We can focus. See, that's cute. It just says my name on it. This stuff is actually really good, especially if you're in need for a toner just to help you your skin look brighter and more glowy amazing next we have a package from Laura Mercier let's see what's inside so this is the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer um, natural skin perfecter it has an SPF of 30 in it and this is in the shade 5 in 1 and it looks like this this might be too I don't know maybe I don't know I don't know. We'll see. We'll try it out because I wanted to really do a really natural, like, tinted moisturizer mix look. Oh, it came in this cute little bag. Laura Mercier, they always send the cutest little makeup bags. Um, but I already have this one, so I'm trying to give this one to my mom. And then they sent over the Matte Radiance Baked Powder. Hmm. Highlight number one. How does that work? It's matte, but it's radiant. And it's a bronzer. This is too light for me to be a bronzer. I'm a, a brown girl. So... If it'll focus so it looks like this oh, swatch it yeah it's definitely not gonna be a bronzer on me uh, but thank you Laura Mercier I could use it as like maybe an inner corner highlight if I use it at all um, and then they sent over the pure canvas primer this is the illuminating primer I'm gonna look in my um, like my makeup drawer where all my primers are to see if I have that one already and if I do I'm going to get rid of it because I'm not even having um, I'm trying to like not get my makeup collection back up to how much I had before because it was just too much and it was out of control and then they sent over two um, caviar eye sticks and this one's in the shade all natural that's cute so these are what the swatches look like. This is in the shade All Natural, the lighter pale pink color. And then this is in the shade Copper. And then this is just a little mascara. So I really love this mascara, by the way. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Value Mascara. And it's really, really good. Love that. Next, we have a package from... Yeah, it's from Revlon. So they sent these cute little makeup bags and in the smaller bag which is on the outside just has a few of their hyper precision gel liners and I have the shades brown black and beige oh I needed one of these the other day so this is beige this will be great for like your uh, lower lash line or your uh, like your waterline this is the beige, the black, and then the brown one, which is still like a deep chocolatey. 
And it also unhooks so you can have two makeup bags, which is pretty cool. And then inside of this little pouch, we have a couple of things. Hold on, let's see if we can get them out. So we have some more of their liners, and this is just like a little teal shade. We have a green shade, a dark blue. This is gray. Oops. Gray. And then this is a color stay brow pencil, and this is in the shade uh, black. And I actually tried this before in one of my videos, and I really, really liked it. So. They also sent over a lash curler. Let me know if you guys are a fan of lash curlers because, to be honest, I never use a lash curler. Like, I just never, I just never do. I've had plenty of them, but I just never use them. And I don't know, like, do they really work or if they don't work, what is the, like, does it really work? And then these are just three more of the liners that they had. Another blue, a black, and then a brown one. So, that's it from that package. I have to open it to see if it's fine. I think it's from Revlon, maybe? But it looks like this. It's really pretty fun and bright. Oh, and then they wrapped it. Look. That's so cute that you have it wrapped like little candy. Oh, that's cute. Um, I think this is from Revlon. Yeah, it's from Revlon. So, that was a cute little touch. These are their matte lipsticks. This is a brown liquid liner. The way these are wrapped are so cute to me. And then they have their color... What is this called? This is the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish in this wine color. And this is the Color Stay Cream Shadow in the shade Merlot. And it's just like this winey burgundy color, which is really, really pretty. So next package is from Pixie. And, ooh. Okay, this is really pretty. So this is the package from Pixie. Priming oil. We have a under eye brightener. Ooh, I can't wait to use this. A lip brightener and then a brightening perfecter. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, this is one reason why I really love like going to check my mail and getting my PR because it just makes me want to create. And I'm trying to get into the habit of posting more um, like reels and TikToks and stuff. My hair looks a mess. Oh my God. But anyway, I'm trying to get into the habit of posting more TikToks and Reels and stuff. And ouch, checking my mail always makes me want to like post because it just inspires me to try like new products and create new content and stuff. So, so this right here really makes me excited for the holidays. It's like this really pretty holiday packaging. It's red. It has little ribbons on it. And then when you open it up, oh, when you open it up, it's this really pretty little makeup case. I told you they have really pretty makeup. Uh, bags and I love them and then you open it there's red tissue paper such a vibe it's very hollow Halloween it's very Christmas um so they sent over some of their lipsticks and this is in the shade this is what this one looks like it's a really pretty color like a mauve color and then this is in the shade beige in time I'm running out of space to do a little like swatches and stuff but it looks like that at the top up here so that's pretty and then I'm definitely gonna keep this one this is called coral new and it looks like this is just this really pretty peach colored lipstick and then lastly we have a la rose and it's exactly what it says it's just like a rosy colored lipstick super cute and the formula on the laura mercier lipsticks are really really nice they're super creamy and then, then there's another box inside and this again is like very holiday-ish the vibe is very holiday love that um the packaging is so pretty oh my god it's so pretty it just makes you think of christmas and just like the holidays and stuff and I love holiday time. I just, you know, makes me happy. <laughs> but anyway, so, so, so cute. So when you open it up, it's packaged like this. Oh, I'm so excited for the holidays. Which is really, really cute. And these are little mini lip glosses. How cute are that? Oh, they're so cute. And I love things. Anything, everything is cute. Like, I love makeup. But when it's in a mini, it's cuter. 
And that one I tell you, they smell like cake. It's crazy. It smells delicious. Okay, we have another one and another little gift box. This one I'm not going to open. I'm going to just give it to my mom because I have the full size ones of these. I'm, not, I'm trying not to keep things that I already have. And then this is the packaging for the Prima Ballerina Mini Eyeshadow Palette. And this packaging is really pretty. Very holiday. Very festive. This is really pretty. Super cute. And let's see what the shades are like. These are really pretty. Oh, okay, Laura. These are cute. This green in the middle, though. What? It's like a green gray with silver undertones. I've never seen a shadow like that. I don't know if you can see it, but. So this is all of the stuff from today's unboxing and all of the trash that I have to get rid of now. But I'm going to go through this stuff and separate out some stuff so I can give it to my mom. Like this makeup bag, these makeup bags, some makeup um, I just feel like if I'm not going to use it, get rid of it because somebody else can use it and get more use out of it. So, yeah, let's go through this. Hey guys, good morning. So, today is Friday, November the 6th. It is currently 8.51. I've been up since about 8.15. Um, today's agenda, we are going to be working. I have been really focusing on working a lot more, um just honing in on really obtaining my goals and getting to where I want to be and nobody's going to do it for me so I need to double up my work and work extra hard um, with being more consistent and making sure I'm really really like grinding and pushing myself and putting myself out there um, consistently so a couple updates so you guys know I boosted my schedule from posting three times a week to four times a week on YouTube oh my god something's in my eye ow um and also, sorry about my voice. It's a little, it's a little sketchy. It's a little suspicious because it's early in the morning, but <laughs> it'll get back to normal in a little bit. Um. Anyway, so I've really been working on pushing myself a lot harder this week, and just overall, like in general, I want to push myself more because I can do this. I know I can do this, and nobody else can do it for me. So the only way for me to be successful at, you know, this social media thing and this YouTube thing. It's just to be consistent and put out really great quality content. And I also wanted to say thank you to you guys for watching my videos and supporting me and just loving my content. Like some of you comment on every video I post and that means so much to me because it's like, okay, like you really genuinely support me. And I think it's going to be funny when like, you know, I do grow a little bit and just to see like my old videos and the people who have supported me from the beginning, I think it would just be really cool to like you know have that but anyway so today I'm going to be filming another video because tomorrow's Saturday I have to post tomorrow so I'm gonna be um, filming uh, today and editing today so today will be a full work day again So I mind the fact that my closet is open, but I just finished making my bed and it, the camera died while I was showing you guys me making my bed, trying to be artsy and whatnot. But this is what my bed looks like. So it's me. It's a little wrinkly, but it's okay. The bed is still made. That's all that matters. Okay, guys. So we just got done filming. Well, we. <laughs> I just got done filming this no makeup makeup look. It's very, very natural, very simple, very easy. Looks amazing, looks good, feel great about it. So hopefully it turned out okay. Yeah, I finished filming this. I got knocked the door, I got two more PR packages that I'm gonna unbox with you guys. Um, this vlog has been filled with PR and a haul. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. But anyway, let's open these packages and then I'm gonna have some breakfast. I might just do green juice for now until I figure out what I wanna eat. Um, is the card and don't mind the makeup on my hand like I just filmed the video but here's the card and this is everything that's inside of the PR so we have a triple dose cleanser a cleansing sponge energizing serum hydro boost moisturizer and a cold pressed booster and the packaging is really pretty it's also very inspired by the Fenty skin like these little 
um, packaging with the containers on these are very much so inspired by Fenty Skin, which I'm not even mad at because Fenty is innovative. But anyway, so on top we have the facial cleansing sponges. There's two in here, so two packs. And then we have the triple dose cleanser. So the packaging is so freaking pretty. It's like this really pretty green mint. It's picking up white on camera, but it's actually like a minty, like pastel green shade. Um, so this is really pretty. And this is the cleanser. And then we have the dose of colors, hydro dose, uh, daily facial moisturizer, the cold pressed multi-use oil and then we have the energizing serum brightens complexion and reawakens tired skin i'm excited to try this out anything that says brightens and awakens i'm always here for it so from benefit we just got this watch up um highlighter and then we got a high beam highlighter as well and i believe it's in the shade i think it's called high beam and then we got the dandelion blush so thank you so much to benefit cosmetics for sending over this cute little package um i used to use this so much back in the day like when i first got into makeup this used to be my go-to i used to love this stuff so much so it's so funny like now how much my skincare i mean how much my makeup routine has changed and how many more products i use now so i'm definitely excited to add this back to my collection